hundreds of pivot table reports at the expense of few mouse clicks. Let's discuss about this Excel feature. These are the sales records of a company that deals with sports equipments in the major cities of India. Mumbai, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, etc. First column of the table contains bill numbers. Product names are in the second column. Categories in the third column. Location of sale in the fourth column. Number of units in the fifth column. Unit price in the sixth column. And amount in the seventh column. Unit price is multiplied with number of units for amount. Now about the total number of records. Control down arrow. We will be dealing with more than 7000 records. Now I want to know the total sales happen for each category in each of the cities. There are 19 different categories such as badminton racket, roller skates, cycle, cricket bat, boxing gloves and more. That means we have to generate 19 different reports. Now let's see how to create these many reports with the least number of mouse clicks. First of all we will create a pivot table report for the total sales happened in each of these cities. For that click anywhere in this table. Go to the insert tab. Pivot table. See the dialog called pivot table from table of range is activated and the cells containing data are automatically selected. To create the pivot table in a new worksheet, click OK. See a new worksheet is added and here we have a pivot table placeholder. Now for the total sales happened in each city, in the pivot table fields, mark the checkbox for city. See we have the list of cities. Now mark the checkbox for amount. And we have the total sales happened in each of these cities. To apply number format for these values, right click, number format, number, use thousand separator. We don't need decimal places. Okay. Like I said before, these are the total sales happened in each of the cities. That means the sales amounts for 19 different categories. Now to see the amounts for a particular category like badminton racket, from the pivot table fields, drag and drop this field called category into the area for filters. See on the top of this existing pivot table, we have a new filter head called category. Now for the sales amounts of badminton racket, click on this filter head. Select multiple items. Unmark the checkbox against all. Select badminton racket. OK. And these are the sales amounts for badminton racket. If we want the amounts for table tennis racket, click on the filter head. Unmark this checkbox. Table tennis rackets. OK. And we have the amounts for table tennis rackets. But our requirement was 19 different reports for 19 different categories. So to create an individual report for each category listed here, select all categories. OK. After selecting the pivot table, go to the pivot table analyze tab. Pivot table. Options. Click on show report filter pages. In some versions of Excel, these buttons will be arranged in a different manner. But remember, you have to go for Show Report Filter Pages. Say a dialog called Show Report Filter Pages is activated. Show Report Filter Pages of Category. When I click OK, see 19 new worksheets are added. In other words, 19 pivot table reports are created. See the worksheet called Badminton Racket has the pivot table report for the category Badminton Racket. Again, if you want to see the number of units sold in each category, back to the first pivot table which we created. Unmark the checkbox for amount. Mark the checkbox for units. Pivot table. Options. Show report filter pages. Category. OK. And these reports have the total number of units sold in each category.